an LED nightlight uh, that is very clearly based on the original case that was used for a popular Tungsten style nightlight. Um, but they've got a little circuit board LEDs, so let's uh, take a look inside. I'm going to make a wild guess and say capacitive dropper in this one. Let's uh, open it up. Um, oh, tamper proof screws. Uh, tamper proof, ta oh, what's, there it is. Little triangular screws, the ones that are supposed to stop you taking stuff to bits, apparently, but they don't stop me. So, these are quite a common style of night lights. They've got the little L LDR in the front, um, so that they turn on at night and off during the day. The tungsten type are usually really crappy circuitry. I think they use a thyristor, and they tend to shimmer and flicker quite a bit. Uh, but at least it saves the life of the lamp, because uh, low wattage lamps aren't as robust in the UK on 240 volt, because the filament's a lot thinner for than the equivalent of a, of a 110 volt lamp. Ooh, here we go. Well, so far I'm seeing resistors. I'm seeing one capacitor, a little electrolytic. Uh, is there a... Oh, let's... Uh, there you go. There's, uh, no. It appears to be a resistive dropper. So uh, let's... Uh, let's uh, doodle this out. I thought it was quite bright, so... Um, Hmm, uh, surprising that it's resistive. Um, so here's the wires going in. The first one goes through a fuse. So this is where I try and draw everything upside down. Live. My apologies if I get anything upside down, because I am um, doing it upside down. So that's as a fuse. Then it goes through a resistor. Brown, red, orange, 12K, and then another resistor. They look rated roughly about one watt. So um, let's see, uh, you can all laugh heartily when I get the characters upside down. 12K. Um, then it goes through a diode. the capacitor. Uh, capacitor, capacitor. And the capacitor just goes straight to the legs, that's neutral. The circuitry is very simple so far. So that's going to be the negative capacitor, that's going to be the positive. Capacitor value, 100 microfarad. actually see the voltage reading. It's 100 volts. It's not very clear because it goes around the heat shrink at that point. 100 microfarad. Um, transistor connect to the negative and the positive? <laughs> right, this is very odd. The LEDs are connected to, the LEDs are connected in series directly across that, which doesn't immediately make much sense, but I'm sure they've got the reasons for it. So that's the LEDs. Transistors connected across that as well. This is very odd. Um, very odd indeed. 
indeed. And that just leaves the two components, the really? So there's the LDR. Um, and when it's daylight, it pulls it. Oh, is that right? Have I done that in the right position? No, I've got it in the wrong. That's the LDR there. Um, and that resistor is red, black, yellow. Is that right? Just a little microscope to check that. Colours are a wee bit vague, the yellow, it's not that clear. Yeah, red, black, yellow. Okay. That's an odd value, it's not a standard value, is it? Uh, 2, oh, and then uh, brown, red, orange, yellow, 2. Is that 200k? That's 200k, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah. So 200k. So what's actually happening here is that the LEDs are basically being fed through a very simple resistive dropper from the mains. Um, smoothing capacitor um, and at night time this transistor is off and the LEDs are on but during the day when light shines in this LDR um, it turns the transistor on and shorts out the LEDs so the circuit actually powers, it actually uses slightly more power during the day when they're off than it does at night. That's cheap and nasty. But you know, I suppose it works. Um, almost disappointing, I have to say. Shall we, shall we do the maths? Here's the calculator. So that's 12k, that's 24k. Uh, 24, uh, hold on, 240 volt. Divided by 24k. Oh, let's start that again. 240 volt divided by 24k is 10 milliamps, um, <coughs> but it's only on half the time, which times 240 volts, because it moves more or less that, it means that the resistor is going to be dissipating 2.4 watts, but it's only half wave, so they're going to be dissipating 1.2 watts. So the, the plug is pretty much rated 1 watt. The lights seem quite bright, but having said that, they're only getting effectively about, say, 5 milliamps. Um, which, you know, uh, they still look quite bright. It's not efficient, but I suppose that, technically speaking, from a from a circuit simplicity perspective, it is fairly efficient. Yeah, not, not really sure about that one, but hey, it works. 